Cameras trained on one man up against his former club. Will he make an impact live on EA TV? A splendid day for football here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Arsenal up against Crystal Palace. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Great effort to keep that one in play. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. A chance to whip it in. And a decent save, full credit. Well, a joy to watch. Incisive pass. A goal in the early stages, precisely what they had been planning. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And what a finish from Haaland. It gives the keeper absolutely no chance. It's such a powerful strike. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Well, it's fair to say he's been across all the back pages and the focus of social media as well leading into this game. Facing his former club, facing his past, and that's not always straightforward, is it, Stuart? Well, it can work either way. Some players are inspired and play really well, some feel overawed. I hope for his sake it's the first. And I'm hearing a change to the scoreline in the Forest match. Here's Alex Scott. Yep, it's a goal for Nottingham Forest. You could see he knew what he wanted to do as he stepped up to take that free kick because it was executed. Still alive, and he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. Well, they needed that, and so did he. Just look at the manager's relief there. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Well, Alex was in full flight. Alas, we had to cut her off just moments ago to confirm Forrest did score in that game. And they now hold a 1-0 lead. Henderson. No mistake by the keeper. And Palace finding space on the flank. But they took care of the situation defensively. Right, time for a scoring update in the Nottingham Forest game. Alex Scott, what has happened? Yes, it's a goal for Chelsea. Oh no, what a chance this is. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And there's the delivery. Well, he would love to have that header back. And apologies to Alex for having to cut her off. Just to clarify, Chelsea did find the net in that game. And it's level now at one goal apiece. Well, the keeper in position to prevent another goal from him. Well, he's a massive threat. That really could have been his second goal there.
delivering it and still dangerous and Arsenal unable to retain possession well some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games let's hear about it from Alex Scott yes it was a penalty for Chelsea and it was a great save by the goalkeeper bottom corner the score is still 1-0 with 32 minutes played many thanks Alex Alexander Arnold, Musiala, Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control, it comes to nothing in the end, what was the chance they could get caught out on the break here, and a tidy tackle, And playing it through, and a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, it's a big moment for him. Just needs to get his players refocused now. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. And Bellingham, oh, great vision, able to close down the shot. Corner to Arsenal, what can they do with this one? <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately, danger still on. And it is half-time, Arsenal with the lead. Not that that should come as any great surprise, bearing in mind their home record in the league. Well, they haven't had it all their own way in the first half, but they've got the lead, and with those fans driving them on, I just feel they take more control in the second 45. So, the ball rolling again. Palace trailing after the first half. Can they come up with a response here in the second? Right, I'm hearing something has happened in the Forest game. What exactly? Alex Scott. It's a second goal for Chelsea. They're back in this now with 48 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always, Alex. Vinicius Jr. And narrowly off target here. Well, it's still all to play for, but that was a good effort, wasn't it? Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. An encouraging Arsenal move. Well, sitting deep and just trying to form a really coherent block. Alexander-Arnold. Now, who can he pick out? My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel.
Can someone get on the end of this? Clearance needed to be better. Vinicius. Well, just a whisker wide of the post. Not a bad effort at all. And they're making a change. And nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Cup Mainers. Oh, surely. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, that one has promise. High-quality defending. Now the counter-attack looks on. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football, and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front. But the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Well, they've got a real bargain here. He's such a good player, and he brings so much to this team. This is a really great deal for the club. And Bellingham, and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Over it comes. Oh, that's not a good clearance. And Bellingham, huge block. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And fed forwards. He has time to play it over. And he read it superbly. Well, don't forget we have the decisive second leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final coming up for you live on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Manchester United. Oh, big chance here, Derek. Can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and Mbappe's movement and penalty box awareness makes that finish look easy. That's a really good goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Crystal Palace facing Nottingham Forest. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty oh, affair. Oh, Stewart, an opportunity. Oh, a goal! That levels it in the 
the closing phase of this game. Underway again. We can't complain about a lack of entertainment. 3-3. And forward go Arsenal. Do they have a late winning goal in their future? Well, news of a goal update in the Nottingham Forest game. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Chelsea. They now lead 3-2 with 87 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Ozim Hen. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Oh, big chance. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Well, how about this? 4-3. And so that is that. The referee blows for full time. A victory for Arsenal. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Just a moment of your time. Thank you for your time. Really appreciate that. That's all the questions we have for you.